So let's discuss in my experience how much it costs to go to university in England to study paramedic science. So first of all you've obviously got the three payments of £9,250 which covers your education each year. This comes to a total of £27,750. Then most students move away from home. For me personally, I paid £115 per week, staying in student accommodation over the three years. However, due to paramedic science being an extended degree, uh, you often have to extend your contracts beyond the academic year to accommodate your placement timetables. Therefore, you end up paying pretty much every week for the entire year. So £115 times the 52 weeks times three years comes to £17,940. Obviously everyone's rent will vary depending on where they are within the country and what living costs are like. Then when most students start the degree they sign up to the College of Paramedics. At the student rate this is £2.50 a month times that by 36 months and you've got a cost of £90. With this, most students also get the JR Calc, whether that be in pocketbook form or the app. When it's in pocketbook form, most people end up getting the latest copy every year. So £29.99 per book times three years is eighty nine ninety seven. The cost of the app is the exact same, so over three years, again, that's £89.97. Obviously, I'll only add one of those onto the final cost. Then, as you are edging towards the end of your degree, you're going to be start looking at your C1. So, you then have the cost of all of this. The C1 theory costs £37. If you fail, if you need to repeat this, it's going to be even more. A C1 medical, for me, only costs £20. However, depending on what company you go with, if you go for your GP, this could leap up to £60, £70, even £100. Then for the actual training and tests, I paid £635, which is fairly cheap. Most courses tend to be up to £1,000. Then, to actually become a registered paramedic with the HCPC, this also comes with a cost, which most people don't actually know about. Uh, the cost currently um, for my first payment was £166.80. Obviously, throughout your degree, you're going to need extra uniform, extra textbooks, so I've um, put this at about £200 for extra uniform and £200 for extra textbooks. Obviously, a lot of people go to the library. Um, not You don't always have to buy textbooks, but I think the standard is you do spend a bit of money on textbooks over the three years. With being away from home, paying rent, you're also going to have food bills. So I've put it at £25 per week times that by 52 weeks over the three years is £3,900. Obviously people spend more, some people spend less and that's just kind of my basic that I did each week. Living away from home you've also got laundry costs um, on the basis of circuit laundry which I believe most universities use. Um, you have a cost of wash at £3.10. If you're washing your uniform every week for an entire year that is at a cost of £483 over three years. That's just for washing your clothes. If you're also tumble drying, which I barely did because of the cost, you're looking at £1.50 per tumble dry, times that by 52 weeks and three years, you've got a cost of £234. So already with all of that you're looking at a cost of £51,000 745 pounds and 77 pence and that cost is before you've looked at the cost of owning a car to get to placement not everyone has a car 
um, during placement during university but this is the cost to add on so for me personally a car MOT was £37 a year over the three years that's £111 car insurance you're looking at approximately £2,000 over those three years this is going to be more or less based on all your different standards within your insurance then you've got car tax mine's only £30 a year but this is the lowest you're going to get your yeah, car tax so over the three years that's £90 it's probably more than that then if you've got a car you're most probably going to have to pay to park it on accommodation car parks at university if that's the case for me personally it was £15 a term luckily I only had to pay for two terms because it came in in my final year however £15 over the three terms is £45 times that by the three years is an added cost of £135 now if you add all that on to your overall total that's £54,081.77 if you haven't got a car to get to placement you're probably going to have to pay taxi costs, bus costs or any other additional travel fees which I haven't included in this but obviously that's something to be aware of to be honest it probably would actually work out cheaper than the cost of having a car but for practicality car is a better option obviously uni fees of £27,750 are paid for by the government before you see that money but that doesn't mean you haven't got to pay it back when you start earning Obviously, students, the majority, get a maintenance loan, but nine times out of ten, this doesn't actually cover the cost of living at university. I had to get a job in my third year to cover these costs and also ran an Etsy shop for two of these years out of my degree to be able to fund it. So it's just something to be aware of. This video isn't to scare people of the cost of university. It's just to kind of prepare you for how much it really is to go and study this degree. I hope that's been beneficial to some people and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.